guys, it's Moz here from Moz 6510 Models and on the workbench today I have a brand new model tooled by Airfix. This is the 1 to 48 scale de Havilland Chipmunk T10. Now this was announced in January when they did their launch. Everybody was excited, especially those who are ex-air cadets because I think if I'm right, though I'm not an air cadet man myself, I was more army cadets when I was growing up. They used to use these as their training plane. So they would go for a ride in one of these. And I've, I did see when people were talking about the um, chipmunk that they had had uh, wonderful uh, memories of flying this uh, uh, plane um, when they were in the Air Cadets. So it's great. You know, I think Airfix thought outside the box of this one and uh, it has been needed. You know, I think... Uh, I think they did a 1 to 72 scale back in the day, but this one here, 148, new tooling, and looking at the uh, the uh, schemes, looks like you're going to have four different schemes. But anyway, before we get into the box, only 10% of the people who watch this channel are subscribers, and it would really help the channel if you could just click subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I put out a new video, click the bell and select all, which would be great. And remember, to subscribe to this channel is absolutely free. So, looking at the box, some nice little box art there, you know, with the red, white, and like this black sort of nose. You can see there's um, black and white stripes on the actual uh, prop there. Number 28, WB585. You know, the, the, there was going to be some history there with that, with that sort of marking, that sort of scheme. The number for the Airfix kit, if you want to buy it, is this one here it's a04105 as a04105 so quick look let's uh, look on the side of the box you have the the warnings in different languages again the decals are made by cartograph which is always good to see side of the box you've got the clip the clip art <laughs> you've got the box art again on the side here always have to turn it around you have some details of the actual plane itself. Lots of colours involved here because you've got four different schemes. If I get close, you can uh, pause the uh, video now if you want to take a, a screenshot of this. You get one flying hour. It's a skill level two. And there you go. Those are the four schemes there. You've got the colours of the number two flying training school restored by Vintage Fabrics. You've got the D8... Um, uh, the Chipmunk T10 w, WB549, first British chipmunk displayed at Farnborough, Hampshire 1949. You've got that one there, which is the Royal Naval Historic Flight Royal Naval Air Station in Yelverton. So if you go to Yelverton, you'll see that one there in 2009. And then you have this one here, which is the Army Air Corps, or Army Cadets, whatever you want to call it. Army Aviation Centre, Middle Wallop, Hampshire, in England, June 1968. So quite a bit there. Also on this side, you've also got the box out again, like you have on the other side. On the back, absolutely nothing. So anyway, let's uh, open the box and find out what you get inside. It's a top opening box, so we uh, take it to one side. And in the box, you will have one bag of sprues sealed. So unlike the uh, the Vulcan, they've uh, they've put all the uh, plastic into one bag. You have instructions and you have a fairly large decal sheet. Let's have a quick get this up nice and close so you can see the decal. Very crisp again. There's there's the common ones here, all the way through. Moving down through, you can see well, there's a number there, WB585. So if you're doing scheme A, if you're doing scheme B, it's WB549. If you're doing C, it's 906 and WK608. And if you're doing D, it's WP964. So you've got quite a lot there in the in, in the sheet itself, quite a lot there. You try to see the highest number there, 161. <laughs> so but you won't need all of them, obviously, it depends on which scheme you use. So looking at instructions on the front, you've got some information about the history of the chipmunk. 
it tells you the specifications. Maximum speed was only 138 miles per hour. Interesting. I would have thought it was a bit quicker than that. Wingspan was 34 foot, 4 inches, and the length of it was 25 foot. And the range of it was 259 miles. So, turn over the page. Again, assembly instructions here to the left and their assembly icon instructions. Remember, this is a, a, 1, to 40, a 1 to 48 scale, so everything's going to be a bit bigger than a 1 to 72. There you go. It's basically starting off again with the cockpit. And this time, you're actually starting off with the seats. And seat cushions fitted to the restored aircraft only. So there you are. There's there's some seat cushions there. So you can decide which one, you know, if you want to use that, it's up to you. You've got to drill some holes in and then um, put some pits in there, some joyst um, joysticks in there. Put the seats in behind the joysticks and you start with uh, drilling out steps A, C and D, step 37 on page 9, C step 39, C step 37 on page 9. Drilling out some holes there, so you're getting you all ready. I presume that's some decals there to put in to the side of the fuselage of the cockpit. You know, start to put it all together now. You put in the tub inside the fuselage there, all the added pieces there going through. I uh, think it looks like a bulkhead there to go on the back. So I'm assuming that the just looking at there's the there's like a bulkhead there. Then you've got your pins there, so follow the pins and push together. Moving forward for the front, and then you're going to start building up the dashboard there. Moving through. If building this model with the engine side covers open, assemble parts A6 and A7 in this step and refer to step 17B below and steps 47 on page 11. Miss out step 29 on page 7. So there's a lot of catching up. You know, you've got to, you've got to be forward thinking when you do this kick. So it looks like you can have, you can show off the engine, which I think is a great, um, a great addition to this kit. You start building the engine up. I can't remember, what was the engine in this one? Uh, leave a comment in below if you can tell me what engine was in the chipmunk, because I don't know. Engine altogether, then you, you're putting on some manifolds there. And just showing you which all the pieces go. This way, where it shows red is that piece that you fit in. Go on the side, looks like, um, is that some sort of uh, cowling? Moving through, you're putting some frames in. Looking good. And then you're basically getting the engine and there's like this like A-frame sort of thing. But into the into the positions there, which looks quite nice. You've got one, two, three, four location holes there. Engine goes in. Put on the top, put on the front, the um, the cover there. So it's like the nacelle and the engine covers go there. Then you start on with the wings. Looking very good. Wings go together. Again, so you're putting the bottom half on. And then you put, so you put the bottom half, of the, the bottom half of the wing up onto the underside of the fuselage. And then turn it over, put the tops of the wings on, early ones on, etc. Going through, there's your, your fin at the back. Your tail, everything's all going in. And there's some side pieces there. Moving through. Then you got in the, make sure you got the if you see this is with the um gearing down, so it's showing you the gearing down. Um well the gearing's already down, isn't it? So what they're showing you here, sorry, gearing down. So it looks like you've got a choice on how you want to build this. Just seeing what the difference is. I was going to say the gearing is always down on the chipmunk, isn't it? It doesn't go up. There's a two choices there. Work it out for yourselves. Um, yeah, putting through there's the, um, the the rear jockey wheel. Then you put the prop together with the nose. And I presume you don't glue that. You that just fits on, just pops on nice. Um, more antennae and more instrument sort of um, going on there. Moving down through, when, this, when building this model with the engine size comes open, assemble the parts below and refer to step 16 and 17 on page 5. So then you go back to 16 and 17 here. 16 and 17. Basically telling you how to do it. It's quite nice actually having the, so you can see the engine, so you can do some nice little work on there. All canopy framing in, is black inside, so that's all black. And then you've got um, your steps there, 48, 40, 44, 46, 47, 48, so whichever you're doing there. Use part C27 as a jig to assemble the canopy in steps 50 to 51. So, 
Just looking for C20. So that must be there. That's the jig, is it? Oh, that's the jig to make sure it's it's all together. And then it all fit. So, oh, I see. Look at that. It's like, ah. Ah, so you put the windows down first. So I would have first and put the rest of it on top. Brilliant. Excellent. Then I said, presume you can have it open and shut, depending. You can have the pilots in, pilots out. So you've got a choice of, there's the, um, I think, is that the emergency handles? Is it the, to close down? I think that's the handles for the outside. And that's it. All done and dusted. Looking pretty good. Nice call out there on this side, which is, um, this is number A, which is the one that's on the box art. Um, quite a few bits there to do. Then you've got the this one here, which is the T10 in Somerset. That's that one there. Turn over, you've got the display one in Farnborough, 1949. And then on the back, you've got the camel version there for the Army Air Corps. That's what I mean. It wasn't Air Cadets. Is it Air Cadets or Army Air Corps? At the Aviation Centre in Wallop in Hampshire. And there you go, that's the instructions. So let's have a look what you get inside the bot, inside the bag. So inside the bag, you get one, two, three, and four, which is the clear plastic, which is uh, in its own bag, which is always good. That it does help protect it a little bit from any scratches. And you've got a fair amount of glass there. And it is looking pretty good, it, you know, if, to my eyes. Leave in the comments down below if you think they could do better or you can see something wrong with it. But yeah, look at that. It's, um, yeah, so you've got, uh, it's like you've got um, a one, two, three, four, five, six parts for the cockpit. So it's quite an open cockpit and you have to, you have to color these into whichever scheme you're doing. But yeah, looking pretty fresh. So there's actually eight bits of glass there required to do this kit. So there's that one. Right, so first off, we shall go for the wings. So let's go for the wings, which is this one here. And you've got uh, basically uh, seven pieces on this one. So you've got the, the bottom of the wing and then the tops. And as you can see, as it's a brand new kit, they, they've designed it well, like the, um, the release release mark release pin mark so it actually inside you won't see it no need to fill it i can't see many synth marks but there is that sort of look to it you know that the um you can see the basically the panels there and on top there there's some slight rivets at the front here which is nice but the, and they're raised as well and there's a bit of raised there which is good that's all raised so you got see you can see the panel lines there obviously looking pretty cool and you've got the raised rivets there as well. Some nice detail on the front of the wings. Very, very nice. So there you are. There's, this one is frame A, sprue A. Frame B has the fuselage on it and the two pilots. The pilots don't have to look bad, to be fair. Not bad looking pilots there. Obviously, again, they are they're twerking in that position. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Again, all the release pin marks are inside. Some nice detail there in the fuselage itself for the cockpit. Some nice bits of uh, recessed uh, parts there. There's your um, nose cone there for the uh, prop. I think there's engine sides there. So yeah, very nice. Crisp. Definitely, uh, definitely a brand new tool, isn't it? No flash, no nothing. I can't see any sync marks in this. Looking pretty good so far, FX. And then finally, you have uh, Sprucey, which again is the a um, lot of the cockpit detail. You can see the cushions there. You can see the uh, bits of the seat. There's the engine there. Can you see the engine? Some nice detail. Let's get the other angle. Nice detail on the engine. Really plush there. Wheels look quite nice as well. Good wheels. Bit of manifold there. The prop is there. There's the prop. Only one prop in this kit. But I assume there's only ever one prop. Sometimes you get kits without three different props. And uh, yeah, there's the A-frame there for the part of the engine. 
and there's the uh, dashboard there, which you, which has got some raised lines on it. Look, there's the jockey wheel. Looks like that's in, like a part of an exhaust there at the back or something, some sort of tank. But yeah, I'm uh, looking good. The bulkhead there, can you see there's some detail on the bulkhead? It looks very, very nice. So there you are. That was the 1 to 48 scaled de Havilland Chipmunk T10 2021 tooled. Tooling, I should say, from Airfix. And yeah, it looks like a lovely little kit to build. Probably a weekender, I reckon, if you want to just do something a little bit simple. Um, very, very nice. Quite impressed with it. Really am impressed. And, and I think it will be a welcome addition to Airfix's really good improved range it's nice seeing new kits come out and they put a lot of thought in it thanks for watching if you like the video click like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and ring that bell to be notified on any new videos any questions any comments you know what to do put them in the box below and i always reply and i'll see you in the next video cheers